Hello guys, I am Steve, and welcome to Seven Tarot. Are you single? Are you a backstabbing bitch? Are you a raving lunatic narc? Well whichever case it is, today on Seven Tarot we are going to find out. And don't forget, if you have PTSD or schizophrenia, tarot really may not be in your best interest, especially if you are a jealous ex with big dick syndrome. So seek other means of help and don't bitch at me in the comments, because honestly tell it to someone who gives a fuck. Now lest all just join hands and act like mature adults, and have a good time. And remember, Steve loves you baby. Leo, luck, 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 lucky winner. I am lucky. Some lucky number seven, 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 seven. Unless you're gambling, I think it's the same readings that were coming up through the other weeklies. Uh, lucky, 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 like a, a gambler or someone like 070707 or 007 or an XOXOXO with a, a gambling machine. Or like, I don't know, that I've just won the jackpot or I've literally just like, I'm in. Like, in like mustard. <laughs> so I don't know, like I want everything in it. So in it, uh, in it, in it, in it, in it, Steve, Stephen, it, Stephen King. Leo Lion, uh, something to do around an Aquarian. Anyway, we're not channeling. How you doing, Leo? Uh, so you can watch this Leo, Aquarius, or a Life Path 8. Something rising Venus, Jupiter, North Node. It really doesn't matter. Anywhere that you have an 8, you can watch this because on the top of a major arcana card of Leo is the same as what it is on an Aquarian, which is an 8 card. So you can basically watch both lots of readings if you have an 8 placement. Okay, I've already done your reading, and it was probably the best reading uh, in par with Scorpio. Uh, so there's, I think, every single king and queen, the royal family. So that could actually have something to do with around, like, the queen tomorrow because we have a bank holiday Monday tomorrow because the queen is being buried today, I think. Um, so, yeah, I actually got a little bit emotional uh, today, actually, because I can kind of really remember the queen, like, growing up. Uh, she was lovely. The queen was so... Uh, <laughs> anyway, I know there's a lot of controversy about the queen and stuff, so I'm just going to kind of leave it. But <laughs> uh, anyway... <coughs> Let's just get on. So the last 48 hours for Leo. Last 48 hours for Leo. What's going on with the last 48 hours for Leo? Uh, so the hangman. So there you go. So you are either one in a third party, two been talking to a Pisces, and I've been stuck in the middle with you. Okay. Jew, Julian, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack, or someone that is Jewish. Okay. But I've been stuck with a Pisces, and that's the person that I've been with, or am with, or with or without you. Uh, you too, something's around a Libra, maybe, you too, you too can be like me, <laughs> what is that, someone that's impersonating someone, or Percy Putcher, poorly Piscean, a poorly Piscean, someone's very poorly at the moment, I don't know, have you got flu or something, or like, I've not been very well, okay, uh, let's see, uh, Leo, last 48 hours, what's been going on with Leo for the last 48 hours? Uh, Hierophant, marriage, commitment, uh, well it's either a divorce and it's grounds to the divorce, it could be that because this, your reading is full of this, like all lo loads of major arcanas, kings, queens, uh, the Hierophant, the Empress, like, <laughs> uh, so you should have been talking about hooking up with this person, this is hook up, hook, line and sinker, so sort of like i am been hooked up with this person, so hooking up here is either a hooker, or like I've just been hooking up with the person, like I've been hanging around them, I've been talking to them about relationships, marriage, commitment, all this sort of stuff, or you are married, or this is grounds for divorce, okay, because that is my elbow card. I've been working on a cocktail for grounds for divorce, okay, um, let's see, uh, the last 48 for Leo, last 48 hours for Leo, what's been going on? Uh, Ron, there you go. What's been going on, Ron? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you too. I love you too. Someone's kind of like been going twit to woo. Look at you. <laughs> so someone uh, has been eyeing someone up. Okay, I'm also hearing Iron Man. Um, so that would be Ozzy Osbourne, someone from Australia maybe. Um, or like I've been eyeing you up, talking to you, telling you how much... You mean to me. Ooh, you to me are everything. You to me are everything. The sweetest song that I can sing. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <coughs> ah, there you go. Go on, Leo. 
Let's see. Uh, last 48 hours for Leo. Last 48 hours for Leo. Ace of Cups. It just gets better. It's just exactly the same as what it says on the tin, Leo. It's just the same as what your reading is over on the other side. Uh, you've got the Hierophant, the Hangman. Okay, the Hierophant and the Hangman. And you've got the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So for a lot of you, you're going into a soulmate situation and have been uh, over the last 48 hours more than likely. Uh, could be a life path five Sagittarius Taurus person. Uh, could also be another uh, like be a Piscean, okay. Life path three a Libra possible, and then yeah, Ace of Cups. So yeah, there's no problems. It's just kind of like you've been talking about this person, speaking a lot to them. Definitely in a metaphysical connection. Um, offered offered to ask someone out, which is the Two of Cups, uh, or talking about love anyway. Um, what is the Hierophant for? Why is the Hierophant here? Now, if you guys have not, this is someone else's reading, okay? Um, the Hierophant, the Hierophant. Uh, it's the Five of Wands. Oh, dear, Sagittarius Taurus. What has been going on there? A lot of conflict, mental conflict. Is that the grounds for divorce? But you see, the reason why there's loads of kings and queens in your reading is because someone was getting divorced here, and that was the grounds of separation, was arguments. Now, within the last 48 hours, you could have had visits from exes, and you could have got into a fucking huge row on a Barney here. It may have been a Sagittarius Taurus placement that did that, okay? Um, I don't know, came back in, caused a load of conflict for somebody possible, okay? Uh, and there would have been an arguing, but that would have been whoever it is that you argued with. That can also be parents as well. It can also be a lot of stress and under a lot of stress at work. Uh, what is the hangman here for? Why is the hangman here for Leo? Depending on where Leo is placed in your chart, because there's a couple here that are arguing under the roof of a marriage here. And under the roof might be to do with a house and a home of of separation of selling it. Okay, having to sell up and, uh, let's see, uh, the hangman for Leo. Uh, so you've got Pisces again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gen, Jen, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack. Um, but, uh, Jeff, my name is Jeff. Um, but again, Jen, <laughs> Ngen, Ngen number nine. So you got Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but this is also a Virgo card because it's a major card of nine, okay? Um, so this could be a, like a Pisces moon placement possible, okay, or a Cancer Scorpio Pisces moon possible, um, uh, but anyway, um, <laughs> this is, see your reading was very difficult and it's kind of the same here, somebody has been expressing their feelings and emotions to this person, but then there's another person possibly that hasn't been expressing their emotions to this moon here. Because they've been keeping their feelings quiet. Okay. Um, let's see. So, you've got the Two of Cups and the Hierof uh Sorry, the Magician. <clears throat> so, someone has. They've been expressing their emotions to a person. <clears throat> so, you've uh, been talking. Definitely been talking to this person. Now, if you're a Leo or an Aquarian sitting back and you haven't been, then, like I said, it might not be your reading. But these two definitely have been here. Uh, discussing about they could have the similar placements of like Virgo or Piscean. You see, this is the opposite sign to Pisces, nine Virgo, <laughs> right? So it's kind of like that. There might be like a Virgo rising, which means a uh, Pisces descendant, or a Pisces descending um, Virgo rising, something like that, because um, that would be descending and and whatnot here as well. Um, what's the Ace of Cups for Leo? The last 48 hours for Leo. Ace of Cups. Uh, the Knight of Donkeys. <laughs> Donkey Diggler. Someone's got Dirk Diggler. Uh, or a Tickler. What's that? Tickler on the throat? A cough? Something like that. Or they said, fuck off. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. but Or a cough? Or a cold? Uh, and it slowed someone down a little bit. But that's the slow down, wind down, remember how this used to be. Someone trying to reconcile from the past here. You may have had a visit from retrograde. If you guys have gone back to an energy of an ex in retrograde, you failed. Sorry, 
<laughs> but you've failed to test of retrograde. If you continue to move forward, you've passed. Okay, that's what retrograde means. Retrograde is definitely of an energy that comes back in order to see how you're getting on, basically. Have you forgot about me? Blah, 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 so on and so forth. Offers you, do you want to go back into the same cycle? Or there's an opportunity to speak, at least. If you did speak and it got into conflict, someone didn't quite like what they heard. Like, it could be an Amber heard or an Abigail. But like, um, so I didn't quite like what I heard, right? So I, I, I overheard you speaking or talking about me. Or I, um, you know, you somebody came back into someone's life. They didn't like what there was said to them. And uh, they could have got abandoned or rejected and told no. Or just the person really didn't really pay much attention to the person at all. And it kind of left them in a state of like, fuck, now what do I do? Because I was going to argue with the person, but they didn't argue back. They just kind of like didn't really say much. Then you've also kind of got this energy here <clears throat> of this two of cups. It's a new person here. So it's kind of like someone's moved on from a person here that's maybe still arguing over a marriage, in a marriage, out of a marriage, arguing in a relationship. Could have got tangled up in this argument with this person because they were married or because they were in a relationship. That kept that person occupied of X, occupying a human host. And it was like a ghost, because I'm picking up ghosts. Like, I got ghosted, blah, blah, blah. The person could have gone back in retrograde, started arguing with an ex and a husband, got tangled up in that, okay? That could also be a tangle, because it can be uh, a Pisces tangled up. See, that? look at his feet all tangled up. Look. So I got tangled up in this, blah, blah, blah. I kind of got involved in someone, you know, all this sort of stuff. This person could be a separate person that went back into a relationship with her husband or wife, caused a load of conflicts and arguments with this person, may have ghosted someone and not told them anything, and then all of a sudden, this other door opens here of a new person, where I told you guys throughout your monthlies and weeklies, you never know what it is that you're going to get of a box of chocolates. You don't know what's inside it. Okay, Energy can swap just like that. When a door is open... It can close just as quickly, okay? So it's like an opportunity. It's there. If you don't take it, it's gone, okay? <clears throat> so when retrograde happens, they this is where you sign contracts that are spiritual. I just did this for cancer about the soul of balance around a Libra, okay? The soul has to be balanced with two souls that have purged out and finished with their karmic energy. If they're not, they go back in order to find balance because it has to be balanced. The books have to be balanced and everything else has to be satisfied to complete an energy. Okay, that's everybody really. Okay, but um, because you've got two here of justice, it means that karma pretty much wasn't so kind to a person here probably got ex like mixed up in some kind of situation of around an ex probably coming back caused a load of conflict and arguments this person disappeared and probably felt for the okie doke which is i went back with an ex i'm you know been talking to them blah 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 so on and so forth and that's that and that would have been loads of discussions or an argument that you could have got into you either spoke to the person or you didn't but it would have been arguments about someone's relationship now, if you're watching from any kind of perspective of eight and you are married and you are in a relationship, you have more than likely been arguing about it because of another person that has a soulmate of a two of cups and an ace of wands because they ran off with a two of cups. They gone. They went towards someone else. OK, so you got like third party kind of stuff here. Right now, that's one way of looking at it. And you didn't know whether this person was telling the truth or lying, whether they were actually hiding what they've been doing and they're not being forthright and honest with you about what they've been, you know, who they're talking to, who they're not talking to, because this is a not, right? So have you been talking to this person? Have you not been talking to that person? Have you said anything to them? Have you mentioned me? Have you, you know, all of these kind of things. So what you've kind of got here is quite a few messages that are coming through. If you can just give me a minute. <clears throat> because if you're like intrigued about third party energies, this is the kind of energy to look at, right? So what you've got, is um so i'm trying to think where that was what you've got here is is that someone's married possibly in a relationship maybe getting divorced 
<clears throat> could have met someone during the divorce, but those two started talking. Okay, that's why there's a two here. Those two started talking and arguing, putting uh, a two in, in a negative position. You've put me right in a two and eight, bro. You've put me in a position now where I don't know what to do because my past came back during retrograde and I may have been tempted to talk with them and argue with them maybe, okay? So there shouldn't really be any communication with exes at all the moment that it turns bad, okay? As soon as the milk turns sour, Dave, I ain't the kind of pussy to drink it. Do you know what I mean, right? So I'm not swallowing that shit, right? So what is it? Bullshit, okay? Bullshit. Bull, Taurus or Sagittarian maybe, I don't know. But, like, I'm not swallowing that bullshit, okay? I don't believe it for one second, okay? It's a load of shit, okay? <clears throat> so it might be, have you been cheating? Have you been lying? Have you been with someone else? Have you been talking with someone else? No. Lying bullshit. <clears throat> Just putting that one out there, okay? Liar, liar, pants on fire. <clears throat> That's if the question was asked. Now, if the question wasn't asked and you've been in a marriage or a relationship... And it's been very fucking difficult because you've done nothing but argue about someone keep going off, forming connections with other people of soulmates. And they have they spoke to anyone else or not. They are lying. Also, this couple here might be lying to one another here <laughs> because of the marriage going sour. When it does, they don't get attention. So they don't get uh, feelings. There's no feelings here but just scars and wounds of bad energy of the past. So there's been nothing but chaos. There's been nothing but... Well, there's not been any expression of true love or emotion here apart from fucking arguing, okay? So because of that, these are the times that you manifest what you want. So you're arguing. I don't want this. I want your affection. I want your time. I want your love. I want you to pay attention to me. I need your loving, baby D. So I need your loving. So what I really want is love. And you're not giving me it. So I'm going to go elsewhere and get it. Because all I get from you is arguing, blame, telling me that I'm not worth it, that I'm not good enough for the relationship. Yes, you are. Yes, No, no. Because if you have a complaint to make about me, I'm obviously not great in a relationship, am I? If you can complain about it. If you're always complaining about me being in a relationship, then I'm obviously not the one for you. So I'll just go about my merry little way, Mary Poppins. Mary, Melissa, Maria, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack. So I'll just go a bong, a bong, a bong. I'll just go and get a bong and just get fucking high like Cheeks and Chong. <laughs> right? So <laughs> where did that come from? Someone could be smoking copious amounts of ganja or crack. But someone's like, well, I'll just go along my merry little way, okay, and hook up with a two of cups, right? Then all of a sudden, retrograde comes in and the eggs comes back to pull you from the future like Marty McFly. Hold on, Marty. We need to hit the flux capacitor first. We need to go back because we have unfinished business. Do we fuck? Yes, we do. Because we've changed the future. We need to go back and alter it. Oh, okay. So what do you want to do? Work on the marriage and the relationship. Really? Okay, then. Uh -uh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if you did, retrograde is going to test you here. <laughs> right you'll need to watch your reading for where that went okay that's the couple that married relationship got hooked up line and sinker here went off met someone else and then went back to the ex okay so they got pulled away meaning right this is your opportunity you've learnt your lesson don't go back starting to go forward met a two of cups got pulled back straight like a magnet uh -uh, where are you going <laughs> right, you're not leaving me, you won't never leave me, yes I will, no I won't, yes I will, so all of that negativity has kept this person occupied in going around and around and around and around and around in circles, not knowing left from right, forward or back, so they're just like arguing over a marriage and a relationship, that's if you're like, I don't know, because you could be married or in a relationship, but it's like grounds for divorce, but then promises of change, when, you know, like I said, but bend over, Look at your bullet hole. Is your arsehole ever changed its appearance unless you've ever bleached it? If you've never bleached it, it's still the same little sphincter that it's always been. Okay? <laughs> so, right, arsehole. So arseholes never change when they're an arsehole because they can't because they're a sphincter. It doesn't change its appearance. 
Okay, so it normally talks shit. Okay, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna check. Listen, asshole, you don't never change. Yes, I will. No, bruv, you don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I oh, now the door's closed. In came Superman. <laughs> right, the door of opportunity somewhere closed, and then it opened up again. Which means spirit was like, okay, we've given you a chance to open up your feelings and emotions to what you wanted. Then there's an energy of like, yeah, but I never did that. Oh, okay, so bam, you want your ex back. They go back into that energy. The door of opportunity then opens again and spirit gives someone a new person of the Ace of Cups. Because someone may have started to move on thinking, okay, this is just argumentative or it's just... It's so much drama that's kind of going on here that, you know, I've got no option but to move on with my life. If Even if I'm, like, wound up in this, okay? So I can't get mixed up in that because nothing's been expressed. I don't know. I've been left in the dark. Nobody really expressed their feelings and nobody really, oh, you know, I was left none the wiser, really. No one said, you know what, you know, I really like you. I've got feelings for you, blah, blah, blah. Cushy, bruv, let's get going, right? It was more of, like, well, you know, the moon has been present and it's kind of like I've got feelings for you, but it was also denied and told no. OK, so there was a rejection energy, I feel, that has been here. OK, but then, like I said, bam, <laughs> opens the door again here to, to, to equal the balance of the scales out karmically. That's spirit doing that. It's not a person to weigh out the soulmate energy it needs to be two pure energies that are light. Because if you have a scale with dark and light on a scale, okay, it outweighs itself by needing purge. Because it has to cleanse itself by the white light energy. Okay, So it has to complete itself. If it doesn't, the scales are balanced tip, and then that isn't fair. So because it isn't fair, these two have got unfinished business to do here. From past life energies and also present as it is. Hey guys, I just wanted to remind you all that Steve offers loads of good deals on the link below to his website. You can buy individual readings or join his subscription-based tiers. Bronze, silver or gold, each one has its own price. The gold tear has all the teaching videos he does, as well as all weekly and monthly tarot readings, and on top of that you get all teaching videos as well. I really do hope that you decide to support this funny looking British fellow by joining the website or hitting that thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. And don't forget Uncle Steve loves you baby. So they second guessed. So they could have gone back into a codependent, maybe started arguing again. Now if you're watching from the aspect of like, yes I know that's my husband or wife and they always do that. If they always do that, they always will. <laughs> right that may be what you may or may or not have got is the fact that a sphincter is a sphincter and if it is it always does the same thing okay not saying that you're a sphincter or an asshole not to say that you're to blame it's just that retrograde you may have had a weak moment in order to contact the person and argue about something and someone may not have paid any attention to that there's another energy here also very present as well because this door of the scales are like, okay, we gave you the opportunity and it was on the table there. Because don't forget, this is the last 48. We gave you that opportunity in order to, to reach out and touch faith and have that. But you rejected it and said no and got wound up in this five and five. So because of that, this door of the scale of balance opened and said, okay, we've got, a, we've got to like, you know, karmic energy up in the sky because Saturn, don't forget, Saturn's very present. Is watching you constantly here, <laughs> okay, to see what you do about the test, okay, because it will test you karmically. So, so don't forget, Saturn's always watching you, but definitely now, okay, because I don't think it goes direct until what gone October. I think that's also retrograde. So, um, the spirit is kind of like, okay. We're going to have to like weigh up the pros and cons here, okay. Who's a con artist and who isn't a con artist and who's honest and truthful. OK, so if you're lying, blah, 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 you can't lie to anybody, because if you lie to yourself or anybody, 
spirit is watching, you're lying. <laughs> okay, so if you lie, you get caught out. Okay, spirit will just know that you're lying. It can, like, spirit will sniff out that it's fake. Okay, so that will kind of like, okay, that's not going to work out. So we need to open this door again for someone here, for this person to come in here. Okay, that is where some of you may have met a new person here. Okay, because you've got new energy, new energy, new energy, new energy, new energy. You've got old energy, old energy, old energy, old energy. Okay, now if you're like this and you're like, that's the way it is there, and we've split up, we've broke up, but we have children together, and I'm the mother or the father of the ex and the son and the ghost of the Holy Spirit of Elijah, whatever, okay, Trevor, but like, you know, I've got all of that going on, Teresa, <laughs> Tanya, Tatiana, Teresa, uh, Ticker, 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 Wacka, wacka, wacka. <laughs> uh, someone could be wacky racing. Could be Penelope pit stop. I don't know. Or Penelope or Pucci or Paula or Piscean. But again, if you left that energy there and you did, and that was dead in the water, David Gray, that's that. You could have met someone new here that you've been talking to, but you would have been talking to this person within the last 48 hours. You would have been definitely doing that. Now, these can be friends. They can be lovers, mothers, anyone else. But there's definitely love here. So to know that this reading relates to you, if you've gone here and you're staying there, that's you back here, okay? If you moved on from this, okay, and you didn't get back involved with an ex and you did move on and you didn't really argue and you didn't really get involved, you could have actually sort of like moved on from the ex and now you're actually been talking to a new person here, okay? That's that. But you are involved in someone that is already married. They are in marriage and you're involved in that. Or the other person is. Okay, because they're going through divorce, separation and arguing. And if you're in that, then you're in that until the person decides to actually get the divorce from that person. Okay, so that's you guys. But the person would be talking to you whilst they're married here. Okay. Um, or uh, like I said, it doesn't have to be marriage. This could just be a relationship. I'm already in a relationship, but I'm actually talking to you whilst I'm already in a relationship with someone right here. There's, you know, there's different ways of looking at it, right? So that's your last, 40, uh, last 48 hours of what has been going on with you or the other person or behind the scenes of that, okay? So let's see. What is... Um, so for the next 48 hours for uh, Leo, next 48 hours... A new person on the horizon. You should be talking to this person. Or something in the horizon. That's a band, right? Um, so you've got a page of pentacles. So you should be talking to a new person. Definitely thinking about uh, career choices. Uh, options that may come up that may benefit you a little bit more. Okay, trying to put an idea and an effort into something that you have going on. That would also be like a project. Like if I've got a project, I need to kind of focus on my project and think how can I grow this into a business how can i make it into a, like something that would be successful for me okay but I, I would need to put time into it by thinking and analyzing okay which is the best approach that i can do for my business which you know what's going to be more lucrative for me in the end okay that's that one uh next 48 hours uh next 48 hours for leo so you got the five of pentacles someone could be broke as a joke um, I don't know. Why is that five of pentacles there? Wise men say only fools rush in for I can help falling in love with you as the river flows gently to the sea. Darling, we were meant to be. Um, take my hand Take my whole life too. Uh, yeah, so what you've got is there's a couple here married, still married. It's, it's the energy from here is, is seeping into this energy here. Codependent, abandonment, afraid of being alone maybe. Uh, fear of engulfment, fear of rejection, abandonment, cheating, lying. Still in a relationship, still abandoning the relationship, abandoning the marriage, probably still wanting to work on it. Maybe talking that we've got children, what we're going to do with them. Can we work on this amicably like friends? 
Can we be friends? Can we be lovers? But how can we be lovers if we can't be friends and we could be in the same sex relationship? But how can we be friends if we can't be lovers and how can we be lovers if we can't be friends? So what do we do? Well, you still go through the same thing because you had children. So, like I said, someone could still be lying, cheating, seeing another energy, fives, okay? Um, or you've met a new person here of a Sagittarius Taurus, five of pentacles, okay? Um... Leo, next 48 hours. Leo, next 48 hours, please. Uh, so the Queen of Cups, there you go. So some of you are coming out of... Um, oh, wow, I was thinking of a song then. Coming out of... Uh, oh, these Diamond Days. Uh, one of my favourite bands. Uh, but anyway, yeah, sorry. Um, Diamond Days. We're coming out of depressing days. And now I have something to look forward to. Because I'm starting to get feelings. Someone's starting to have feelings for a new person here, I feel. And they're just kind of like, hmm, I'm just starting to like warm up to you here. Now, whether this be the past or the present, I don't know. If you've got a cheating ex-wife or husband, then you might want to watch the beginning sector of my um, avatar. You know, when I make an avatar, it's not just for fun. Actually, it does mean something. <laughs> it means a prediction that could well be coming up right for you in your future but you've kind of got this energy here if that person has left abandoned gone they've left abandoned gone and they're gone i'll be gone in a while i'll be gone for a while because it's all that i do and they've gone back to another woman or a man or as a new person that is going towards this queen of cups okay I'll be gone in a while. I'll be gone in a while. Um, let's see. Leo, next 48. The Four of Cups. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's... What the fuck is it? It, Steve, Stephen King, Leo, Leo King, Leo, Leo King, the Leo King. Uh, Leo King. Leo King! <laughs> push him! Go on, push him! I'm going to push you to the limit. Push you to the limit and I love the way it hurts. Someone could be listening to my angel radio. Sorry, that's the song I wrote. You push me to the limit. You push me to the limit and I... Love the way it hurts. Yep, it's coming. It's a coming. It lucky, lucky, lucky. You could be a winner. You could win some. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so talking, thinking, talking, reminiscing. You're right, sweetheart. Are you getting on, Dave? You're right. No, you're right here. <laughs> so yeah, you probably uh, buttering someone up here. Uh, what is the five of pentacles? This person could also be under the weather. Or unless they're called Heather, Haley, Henry, anything beginning with H. What is the Five of Pentacles? Because it's under the weather. There you go. I think this person probably has the flu. <laughs> Chew! <laughs> is it sneezy? Deepy, dopey, dopey? Uh, seven dwarves? Seven, maybe? Um, but anyway, you've got um, the Ace of Pentacles. The offer and the chances. The door is now open. So it's there. It's kind of being offered. Okay. Would you like a stable relationship? Would you like someone very stable in your life? Offering of that, okay? Then you get the Queen of Cups, but then you also get the Four, <laughs> which is offered, but is accepted. Uh, so, what is the Queen of Cups? What's the Queen of Cups? There could be a financial offer, but it might be a very small one. I don't know, because what you're looking for is a bigger offer and a bigger opportunity of a job that can be more lucrative for you if you're here. Okay, so like if you're a Sag or a Taurus energy or something like that and you need more money, and I need more money like the sunshine. So if you need more money, okay, then this is kind of like where there may be a small offer, but it might, what you're looking for is like, well, if I go further afield, 
okay, I might be able to have this opportunity where I can earn more money somewhere else because it's kind of like, well, where I am, I'm really not getting that much, okay? And what they offered me in the past still wasn't really a lot because I still ended up at the Five of Pentacles where what I earn really just goes straight back into here and I'm back at straight one. If I want a lot more, I'm going to have to start putting in a lot more effort and a lot more time and a lot more work and I may have to go further afield and move, okay, here. Because that's like, you know, <clears throat> if, I want more, if I want more work, I've got to be entrepreneurial. I've got to kind of start thinking outside the box. I've got to start thinking about where are the opportunities if there aren't many opportunities here for work. And like, you know, I just live at a place and there's really not many opportunities for work around. Then I'm going to have to start moving and traveling somewhere else to get more money of where there may be an opportunity where I get a better offer somewhere else here, okay? Now, that might be a, a couple that could be selling a house here, and what they're looking for is the best offer, the best offer. If I need to sell up or a house or a home or move home, I need to look for an offer, like I need to see how much it would be or how much I would get. So if you're buying a home, that's maybe putting down a... a uh, oh God, what do you call it? Deposit on a house or a home. It might be, I'm looking for an offer for our house and home, five and five. And how much would I get for it? And how much would I have left in order to buy another one? Or I might need to look further afield at a house to see how much it would cost and how much I have to invest into a house. Okay. That's how much pretty, that's how my family becomes successful because we... We dealt in properties. We um, we built well. We built them. <laughs> we built people's houses, and then we built our own, and we become contractors. So, like you know, we put load of people in houses. Um, and the best way you can ever do anything in life and save is to invest the money that you have into a house. So it's kind of like that, right? Um, what's the Queen of Cups? Queen of Cups for Leo. Yeah, so it is offered. It is These people are speaking here about love. I mean, there could be one, two, or three people. I really don't know. It could just be the same one person here. Um, but you do have like a complicated energy. But that's definitely reaching out and, and talking to a person that might be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, the the uh, If it's a Scorpio, it can be a slash Aries person in placement of, which would be a four. Um, that's why this four is here. Scorpio Aries here. Uh, what does this four, why is this four of cups? Please clarify the four of cups. Is, wow, yeah, so it is accepted. So you've got the king of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sagittarius slash Taurus five. Life path five. Aries slash four Scorpio. Uh, Taurus, uh, Taurus, Aries, Leo slash, uh, Leo would be you guys uh so aquarian uh sorry um yeah sorry i'm just clocking running off at the mouth there <laughs> um yeah so like i said leo is eight and aquarian right so it is it's accepted well it's kind of flirting teasing wanting needing kind of like very passionate about the person wanting them to accept this for you know the four of cups so it's offered to the four of cups and this person wants this person to accept that okay uh, and it might be I need you to accept the fact that I've moved on and I'm with this woman or man. Like, you know, it depends if you're looking at it as a you versus them. What I need the past to do is accept that I've moved on and I've been offered by another woman or a man and I need you to accept that. Okay. Because that may have what caused this in the first place. <laughs> you know, is the fact that I moved on from that. I met someone new, two of cups, and uh, I need you to accept the fact that I've moved on and... You know, I'm now looking at this king of uh, here, Aries Leo Sagittarian here. Okay, so we're going to leave that. But you, you will more than you. I mean, if you watch your reading, <laughs> it's a fucking good one because you've got all of these. There are kings and queens, and they are all over the place. And there's the emperor and the empress, and the story tells you exactly what happens at well through it and also at the end. Okay, so if you want to know the outcome to your week. You can buy it singly or you can join as a subscription base. Subscription is where you get 62 readings if it's the gold one because you also get teaching stuff and everything else. But it tells you all about it below, but my avatar probably has and will tell you at the end that they are subscription based and they are also 
single readings that you can buy if you don't want to join, okay? But obviously, if you join, you get to watch everything, okay? Whew. Okay, guys, thanks very much, Leo. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you soon. Hey, guys, I just wanted to remind you all that Steve offers loads of good deals on the link below to his website. You can buy individual readings or join his subscription based tiers. Bronze, silver, or gold, each one has its own price. The gold tear has all the teaching videos he does, as well as all weekly and monthly tarot readings, and on top of that, you get all teaching videos as well. I really do hope that you decide to support this funny looking British fellow by joining the website or hitting that thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. And don't forget Uncle Steve loves you baby.